Truckers XTV on air. We are now live in three, two, one. Welcome back to our exciting episode of I the Somnium Files. In the previous episode, happened? we completed the Oda route. Today's episode right now, this is most likely the Mizuki route, no matter how much I look at this one. But before we do that, I want to just double check if we are unable to unlock the other mystery. This is locked to proceed. You must play through more of the story. I did. What else y'all want me to do? That's one of them. So, I want to see if there's any other way. Does it just like straight up, just literally until we finish everything, we can do a thing about it or what? But yeah, I guess we're gonna get like the, we're, we got like the three main character stuff. Oh, this is basically the morning part, right? But y'all can fast forward, that'd be great. Because this is just a recap, because I believe, yeah, we already did this part. So I don't have to like skim, read all this all over again. But yeah, there's like multiple locations we have to go. But yeah, welcome to the Mizuki arc. This is my assumption, but this is what we have to go through. The red one was Ota, the purple one was Iris. Now this is the Mizuki one. And we got seven of these, so let's enjoy a good hour long or so, depending how fast we can get this through. Let's go! I remember telling you before that Bloom Park is an important part of my memories. Before it shut down, I came here a lot with Daddy and Mom. They fought a lot, but sometimes they got along. Whenever we were here, it was one of those sometimes days. I remember it clearly. I was just a little girl, but it was so rare to see them laughing together. That's why I remember it so well. I remember riding the merry-go-round like this. Mom was standing right next to me. She was holding me, so I wouldn't fall. Daddy was on the outside taking pictures of me and Mom. He was on the other side of the fence with an old camera. Every time we passed in front of him, Mom and I would wave our hands. <laughs> We sound like a happy family, huh? He must have gotten good pictures. No, actually. We tried developing them at the park, but they came out all blurry and out of focus. But Mom wasn't mad or upset or anything. She just started laughing. That might have been the first and last time the three of us laughed out loud together. I couldn't get on many of them because I was so little. But I did ride the Ferris wheel. And the Panda ride. They're kind of tame now, but at the time they were really fun. I was having so much fun it felt... wrong. Like it was too good to be true. Hey, Date, how do you define family? Define it? You mean like being blood-related? That would mean you and I could never be family. Well, I guess that's okay. That's okay? This is what I think. A family is... a perfectly ordinary relationship in the most ordinary way. Huh? Like, you say, I'm home, and you get a welcome home back. Doing those ordinary things automatically, without even thinking about it, is what a family is. 
That's why maybe me and mom and daddy weren't able to be a family. Our whole lives, we never could be ordinary. Even if I tried my hardest to be normal, it would just be awkward. Eventually, I got tired of trying. I killed them. What? I killed mom and daddy. I... I was never a good girl. I didn't listen to mom. I couldn't do ordinary things. That's why mom hit me. And why mom and daddy didn't get along. And why they got divorced. Then mom had to start working. And start doing business with dangerous people. If I was just a good girl, mom wouldn't have been killed. This... All of this is all my fault. Why me? Hey, haven't you had enough? Why me? I'm not married, so take this with a grain of salt, but it's not just you, right? Doesn't every family have a tough time raising children? Our child is abnormal! Abnormal? Ever since she was a baby, no child should cry at night as much as she did. No child should dislike buggy rides that much. No child should ask to be picked up and hugged all the time. She's still abnormal even now. Other children would have learned to clean up after themselves by now. They would be studying, going to bed on time, waking up on time. Yet why is my little girl... She sounds like a normal kid to me. Maybe the problem isn't with Mizuki. Maybe it's you. I'm doing more than anyone! Our child is stupid, brain-dead, abnormal! Date, honey, you can't work her up like that! my job for that girl. I threw away the career that I built with my own hands. I raised my child at the expense of my own life. But one little slap. Are you hitting your kid? There's nothing I can do. I have no choice. I know you should never raise your hand to a child. I know that. I know that. But I have a good reason. She doesn't listen to me, so what else am I supposed to do? What the hell do you mean, what am I supposed to do? That's no reason to hit a child. So of course she starts crying. And it's so irritating that I have to hit her again to get her to stop. And Mizuki cries and cries some more. Why are you crying? If you're gonna cry, why didn't you just listen to me in the first place? Then I wouldn't have to hit you. Stupid Mizuki. Stupid girl. It's not my fault. Everything is her fault. Have you talked to Renju about this? I'm trying. I'm trying harder than anyone. Why doesn't anyone see that? Why doesn't anyone understand? <laughs> Date. Yeah. I'll talk to Renju about this. It was my misunderstanding. What do you mean? I thought that mothers love their children unconditionally. But some mothers just can't do that. Well, no. Maybe she does love them. But she has a hard time of it. Shoko was never hugged by her mother. Not because her mother wasn't around. She was raised to never develop a sensitivity to affection. No hugs, no piggyback rides, nothing. Maybe that's why she doesn't know how to love Mizuki. When an animal raised in captivity gives birth, sometimes it just doesn't know how to raise its young. It's just like that.
But that doesn't mean she's blameless in all this. Someone has to put a stop to it. If I could have, I would have done it a long time ago. What about counseling? I did recommend that. She told me, I'm not sick. Why should I go see a doctor? Mizuki is the problem. Mizuki is the sick one. No, Mizuki would never leave Shoko. She wouldn't hear of it. Mizuki and Shoko are practically attached at the hip. Even with all of the hitting? Yes. Even if she's abused on a daily basis, even if she's treated like garbage... Maybe. Mizuki is hungry for love. She craves praise and attention and physical affection. She wants it from her mother. That's why she's so attached. I have a company now. Lemniscade. And we're at a crucial stage of development. I can't take even a single second out of my day to deal with a kid. Hey, that's your daughter you're talking about. Maybe because you two can't cooperate on raising a child, Shoko is having trouble coping. That might be it. Maybe this is partially my fault. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna say it. You two are both awful parents. I knew about the whole thing. That's why four years ago, I decided to start taking care of Mizuki. <laughs> Mizuki, you did nothing wrong. Don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. Not one single thing was your fault. <laughs> Huh? Why are we at the shrine? Did you come here to pray that you find the criminal? No, I don't believe in God. Wow, how edgy teen of you. And don't call me a teen. You're 12. Well, you said that you got the shoulders of a 40-year-old. That's not even remotely similar. So why are we really here? I sometimes come here when an investigation stalls. It helps me think. Sometimes I even solve the case from here. This is a quiet, peaceful little spot in the middle of a violent city. It's calming. It keeps all of the bad thoughts away. Didn't expect you to be such a poet. You could at least call me a romantic. Same thing. They're not at all the same thing. It's the difference between someone who's frugal and someone who's cheap. You're stubborn about weirdly specific things. Coming here reminds me of when I trained you. Yeah, it's been a while since we came here last. I have nothing more to teach you. Let us see the results of your training. Leave it to me! Begin! This is on you. Huh? Hey! What are you two doing? Mizuki! Run for it! Uh, wait for me!
By the way, whatever happened to those kids who bullied you? Oh, did I not tell you? No, you haven't said anything about it. I didn't want to pry. They stopped bugging me as soon as I threatened to fight back. They targeted some other kids instead. They did terrible things. So I... I broke all their front teeth. Jeez. Hey, since we're here, let's go into the shrine. I told you, I don't believe in that stuff. Come on, come on! What did you ask for? To leave this boring place as soon as possible. And you? <laughs> it's a secret. When you tell people your wish, it won't come true. Then why did you ask me? Because if your dream doesn't come true, mine is more likely to. You're more crooked than a hernia. Huh? Anyway, where to next? This is where Iris and Ota almost got killed, right? Gives me goosebumps. You scared? That's rare. You need to chill. You need to get better jokes. Oh, I understand. Chill, meaning both cold and relax. A pun intended. Don't explain it, it's embarrassing. No, not so far. Yeah, you're right. Maybe in a previous life we... Taro. You must be Taro, right? No, I'm not Taro. The polar bear. Where did he hurt his leg? He did get hurt, right? The boss lady said so. The crane hook got stuck on the polar bear's left leg. And then, when the hook got pulled out, blood sprayed all over. That's right. The polar bear must have been bleeding badly at this warehouse. That means... This is Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. I know you said Renju doesn't own it or anything, but... I thought maybe you might have seen it before. No, not at all. Really? Yes, stop being annoying. Why would I lie about that? Could I have your jacket? Oh, wait. Never mind. That jacket probably hasn't been washed in years. Who said I'd give it to you anyway? Don't disregard good intentions so casually. Mizuki is a quick thinker. You are her father figure now. You should praise her so she matures. I don't want her to mature. She's trouble enough as it is.
Ota was down around here, right? Correct. The bloodstains there must belong to Ota. Correct. No, wait. That's where the polar bear's leg was pierced by the hook. Date, I've analyzed the blood. The blood stain here is not from a single person. Two different blood types are present. One of them is most likely Ota's. The other... Hey, do you have DNA forensics on that blood stain? Of course, yeah. I already sent it to the lab to be analyzed. I'm just waiting to hear back. Why are you waiting? Because that blood is from Ota Matsushita's wound, right? I didn't think there was any need to rush the results. Tell them we need it analyzed urgently. Highest priority. The culprit's blood is mixed with Ota's. Yes, sir. Understood. You did it, Date. We're making progress. If this goes well, we can identify the criminal with a single test. But it might take some time for the results to come out. No point waiting here. We might as well check somewhere else. Got it. It would be two cups. Three cups would be a nightmare. Date, why are you asking that? Oh, <laughs> this is embarrassing. But okay. Seriously? Really? Yeah. What are you doing? Sorry, what? Does this have anything to do with the investigation? Uh, no. Huh? What? What are you doing? I'm putting the investigation on hold. I'm going to Atami with her. I've made up my mind. You can't stop me. Side effects of the medication. This is acute brain failure. Wait, are you serious? Do I look like I'm joking? Date, you're being annoying again. Do you know how angry I can get, Date? Let's go to a Tommy. Uh, okay. Hey, this is actually happening. I thought we were just joking. What kind of ending is this? That's concludes the case of the new cycle serial killer. Goodbye, police life. Hello, Atami. Shizuoka. Decide to begin a new life as a carnival worker in the Hot Springs town. The end. What? Can we get back to reality, please? <laughs> Yo!
Ooh, boy. Are you damn serious? Me and my girlfriend's Atami route and you don't even know her name. I swear to God. I swear to God. Alrighty then, there's more than one going on. Let's head back. <laughs> 